Hello, my name is Mrs. Simons. I have your child this year in Algebra 1 or Math 9R with the R indicating that there is a Regents exam at the end of the course. I am not able to make open house this year, so I wanted to take the time to record this short video to introduce myself as well as talk about some of the things that were in that course expectation sheet that was sent home. So I did receive a signed sheet from all of my students indicating that you have read through that expectation sheet as well as all of my students uh, and have signed off on that. So if you have not read that sheet um, and didn't sign off, please contact me as I have received all of my sheets returned and signed by you and your child. So course materials. This year my students will receive a notebook uh, it looks like this. It's spiral bound. They have one for semester one and semester two. They also have a homework packet. So it's orange and it will always be orange and stapled. All of their homework assignments for each unit will be in this homework packet. They need a graphing calculator. It doesn't have to be one of the newer ones. And we did have loaners through the school, but we have run out. So if your child did not bring back a signed form, unfortunately, we do not have any more graphing calculators to loan, okay? They also need for the course, a ruler, pens, pencils, graph paper, their agenda and earbuds, okay? Because we need those for the Chromebooks. This year, uh, grading policy is classwork 15%, formative assessments 30%, summative assessments 40%, and quarterly assessments 15%. With the classwork, so anything that we do in class that's graded, students have the opportunity to make corrections to a 100%. Okay, so anything we do in class, they can do corrections. Formative of assessments, summative assessments, and quarterly assessments, I do not allow corrections. For the formative assessments, we usually start class with a short review assignment or activity. Then they take their quiz. Notes for that day may be on a Chromebook, uh, and that's only to give each student as much time as they need to complete the formative assessment. So we review, and then we start the quiz, and they can take as much time as of that 80 minute block that they need, but they do need to finish within the 80 minute block. Okay, so there's no stress with the notes being on a Chromebook um, that they have to finish within that time frame or before, uh, say, 20 minutes or 30 minutes. They have as much time as they need. The formative assessments, we won't take time to review beforehand as those are longer. Those are their unit exams, and they do have to finish within the, um, before the end of the block, as well as the quarterly assessments, which are at the end of each marking period or quarter. They also need to finish those between or before the end of the block. The quarterly assessments cover everything for the whole marking period. Formative assessments cover only the material that was covered within that week, as those are weekly. And then the summative or unit assessments cover everything for the unit. For all assessments, they are given a New York State reference sheet, as well as scrap graph paper to use on those. And for the quarterly assessment, I allow them to write anything down on a five by eight index card, a little cheat sheet to bring with them, as that covers a lot more material uh, again, for the whole marking period. So that's the only assessment they can use that five by eight index cards. With the assessments, if you find that they're not doing well, since homework is not part of their grade, I would look in this orange packet to make sure they're doing their assignments. So on their first quiz, if they didn't do well, I went and asked to see their homework packet because math is like a language. You need to speak it in order to be proficient at it or practice. So that's the first thing I look at. Second thing, if they're doing their homework assignments and still not doing well, I'd like to see them after school. And I realize I see them every day for 80 minutes, but once again, if they're still not doing well after doing the practice and seeing me every day, they need to put in a little bit more time as they have that Regents exam at the end of the year. I do have Mrs. Lorenzo or Maria Lorenzo in with me every other day to assist me in the classroom. Uh, so that's every day two, four. 
okay? But all of my homework keys are on Google Classroom, so they can check their answers against my key, and you can also use those answer keys to help your child at home, okay? And in addition to answer keys, I also have links to my YouTube page, in which we have all of our lessons recorded for Algebra 1. In order to get into Google Classroom, you'll need their password or their code. Okay, and that would allow you to get into any one of their classes, math, science, English, social studies. After school supports, I am available, as I said, every day, Tuesday through Thursday after school in my room, G8, from 3.30 to 4.05, so they can see me then. I ha may have some of them in study hall, but I don't recall off the top of my head, so if they do have a study hall when I have study hall, which is block one on days one and three, they can see me then for help as well. But after school, both Maria and I are there for support. What you can do at home is to make sure that they're doing their homework assignment the night it's assigned in class, and then they see us after school the following day if they have any questions. And not assigning a grade for homework or not grading it, we're not saying it's not important, it's very important. Because if they're not doing the homework, they're not gonna do well in their assessments. So again, homework, the night it's assigned, see us after school with questions, make sure they're doing their homework with the music off, the TV off, they're not doing their homework when they're working some sort of job or doing anything else but focusing on the assignment or the content in front of them. And in two, in class, are they, are they actively participating, taking notes, doing the activities we assign them, working together with a group, or again, are, are, are they goofing off? If we make a phone call home, that's because we have tried everything in the classroom to help them either focus better, uh, stop distracting, or improve their skill. So we need your support when we do make that phone call home. Uh, and that's it. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me at the high school, myself or Maria at any time. Email is the best way to reach us because we can send an email at six in the morning. We can respond at nine o'clock at night, but you feel free to make a phone call. And if we can, we'll give you a call back. All right, I look forward to working with your child this year. I'm very excited and it's gonna be a good year. Thank you.